whether you like them or not. Today, I'm going to tell you what we as independent bar and restaurant owners and managers can learn from chain and corporate restaurants to make us better. Hey, I'm Dave Allred, the real barman here from barpatrol.net and therealbarman.com. If you want to learn tips, tricks, and strategies on running a world-class bar and restaurant, make sure to subscribe. But let's start with corporate restaurants. <laughs> okay, that's my initial knee-jerk feeling on chains and corporations. Okay, you want to know how to suck the soul from a perfectly good restaurant and bludgeon its culture to bloody oblivion? Turn it over to a corporation and watch its livelihood being sucked from it like a vampire draining his victim until he or she is pale and bloodless. And yes, that's a bit cynical, all right, on my side of things, but it helps if I can vent all of my negative feelings toward evil empires and get them out of me, like sucking snake venom from a bite so that I can move on and express myself in a healthier and more unbiased manner. Okay, the truth is I don't really have anything against corporations. In fact, I order takeout from Panda Express and Chipotle so much that they practically call out my name when I walk in. So I guess it's more of a feeling of loss to me when I see so many chain restaurants dominating an area, like a nostalgic loss. Like that feeling of sitting in a big comfy chair in a quaint bookstore and reading a book. Okay, a real book with like paper and stuff. All right, those places are nearly extinct and it saddens me. All right, I'm not saying I don't have an iPad loaded with books on my Kindle app, because I do. And I love having 500 books that I can hold in one hand. Okay, but there's something about the days of yesteryear for no other reason than I love when individuality reigns supreme. And I swear I'm getting to the educational part of this video soon. But think about some of the dive bars you've walked into and the unique experience you had there. Okay, you may not like the dinginess or the filth that may exist, but there's something mysterious and unchartered about it. All right, something you want to share with your friends who aren't there with you. All right, you won't find that same bar anywhere on the planet, okay, for better or for worse. Now, I will say that the reason we all love the corporate cookie cutter style bars and restaurants of today is because of the familiarity it provides. Hey, I can get the same you know, chai tea, vanilla latte with non-fat milk in Walnut Creek, California, as I can get in New Haven, Connecticut. All right, but there is no like wonderment or like tingling of the senses when you walk in. The culture and staff appear un uninspired and methodical. All right, your curiosity becomes deadened by the same, by like the sameness, I should say, and the predictability. Okay, in our lives, we call that a rut. And that's what corporations feel like to me sometimes, a rut, all right? However, and this is a big however, especially when you're a business owner and what you care about most at the end of the day is making a profit so your kids don't get dropped off, dropped off at school wearing, I don't know, Kleenex boxes for shoes, okay? Uh, the feelings I've expressed towards corporations thus far have been from a consumer customer standpoint. But when we look at chains from a business owner standpoint, everything gets flipped on its keister. Okay, here it is. In general, when it comes to profit percentage, chain restaurants make nearly double what individual restaurants make. Now, despite what we think about them as consumers, they are doing their best to defeat the old dismal 85% of restaurants go out of business in their first three years statistic. All right, and many of them do it very well. And in this sense, I salute them as I would salute a U.S. war veteran, okay? Actually, I'll salute them at a level far below that because veterans who protect us are heroic and brave and totally more awesome than a chain restaurant, okay? So the, 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 let's ask the obvious question. Why are chain restaurants so much more profitable than independent restaurants? Well, there's one answer here and one answer only that matters, at least to me, and the only answer you should care about, and that is systems, all right? That's it. Okay, not like, that's it, see you later, good luck with that. More like, that's it, stop worrying about how you can squeeze more money out of karaoke night. Okay, I'm not saying it's simple to put systems in place. I'm saying that systemizing your bar and restaurant will make your life simpler once they're in place and it's what you should be focusing on the most if you wanna run a more profitable business. Okay, anyone who watches my videos knows that I'm a huge systems freak because after working and speaking with hundreds of bar or restaurant owners and managers, I can see the pattern of success and it's consistent as hell. 
All right, I even have a course called the Restaurant Management Masterclass, which covers all areas of running a, success, a successful bar and restaurant with systemizing being the core hub we rally around to be successful because the bars and restaurants that systemize are killing it. Okay, the ones that show up on a daily basis and just sort of like wing it and hope for the best, uh, they're in big fuck trouble. Okay, what it comes down to is systemizing your business puts you at a huge advantage when it comes to controlling costs, like your food, bar, and labor, training your staff, saving you time, and increasing productivity, and perhaps the most important one of all for people like you and me, providing a more consistent customer experience. Okay, as dull as it may sound, as I've already mentioned, people love familiarity and knowing what they get, that, that, <laughs> that they can get the same thing every time they walk into a restaurant. It's comforting to know that, and it makes a person feel secure. Okay, now here's the exciting part. You can do the same thing at your bar and restaurant without becoming a sterile clone, meaning you don't have to sacrifice your vision and your originality or your culture, okay? Providing a consistent customer experience is nothing more than creating a set of rules that everyone follows so that people get that same feeling of familiarity and comfort when they think of your business. Okay, it's not only creating drink and food recipes with defined portions, it's executing those recipes so they are made the exact same way every time. Okay, think about it. One day, on a whim, you decide to try a new bar and restaurant that you've never been to before. And when you get there, you order a Mai Tai and a porterhouse, medium rare, with a side of mashed potatoes and seasonal veggies. Okay, you get your stuff. You find that the Mai Tai is a balanced combination of booze and juices. The steak is cooked perfectly. The mashed potatoes are creamy and the veggies are broiled with just amount, the right amount of crispiness. And the server, completely attentive, warm, knowledgeable, and friendly. Your feeling of that new place is going to be what? I'm definitely coming back here. However, the next time you come in, you order the exact same thing because, you know, we're creatures of habit. But this time, the Mai Tai tastes completely different. Way too much juice, and there's no dark rum on top. All right, the steak and veggies are overcooked, the potatoes are lumpy, and you couldn't get a goddamn refill on your water. Well, how do you feel? Disoriented. Are you coming back? Mmm, fat chance. Okay, by simply putting systems in place, by building a business of consistency, you can avoid this disaster from ever happening to you. All right, and as we all know, it's way cheaper to build repeat customers than it is to acquire new ones. So you want them to have a great experience. Okay, in addition, systems also mean you put in a set of rules in place for the staff that makes the back end of the business run smoothly, not just the front end, so that all the work that needs to get done gets done in the right way and in a systematic manner that everyone can rely on. All right, I'm talking about like the daily books, uh, your monthly profit loss statement, your closing side work checklist, uh, posting consistently on, on social media, et cetera, et cetera. It puts everyone on the same page and it defines everyone's roles and what tasks they're responsible for. Okay, makes sense? Next question. What systems should you put into place then? Well, that's a great question. So glad you asked. As we've already discussed, going cookie cutter might seem a bit sterile. So what you need to do is build systems that mimic chain restaurants but, but that are still customized to your business, okay? Here are the systems that the successful chain restaurants put into place that ensure consistency, productivity, and increased profits. Get your pen and notebook, your pen and uh, notebook out. Here we go. Number one, financial systems. This seems obvious. We're going to start here, though, because if you aren't tracking what's going on in your business on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis, you can't see where you're leaking profits and, and you have no idea how to fix them. Okay, chain restaurants have their finances locked in to ensure they're retaining every dollar that walks through the door and how to get it back again. Okay, if you have very minimal financial systems in place or none at all, you'd better start putting them in place. All right, number two, inventory systems. Yes, anyone who watches me, we all know how much I love inventory and preach having a quality system in place. And that's because this is the low-hanging fruit. Every smart chain restaurant has a quality uh, inventory system in place. And by quality, I mean modern. No more spreadsheets. All right. The reason I run an inventory management company is not because I love counting shit. 
All right, it's because this is the fastest and easiest way to immediately increase your profits by thousands of dollars each month by stopping the negligence going on behind the bar. Okay, you can go check us out at barpatrol.net at any time to see how it works or find another inventory man management system that works for you. I don't care. Just make sure you put one into place. All right, number three, staff systems. Okay, and this involves how you hire, how you train your staff, so you need, so you make sure that number one, they aren't numbskulls, okay, that's the hiring part, and two, they deliver on an outstanding, consistent experience every time. That's the training part, that's on you. And the only way to ensure the second one is to put a set of rules that states exactly what they should say and how they should say it, using their own personalities, of course. Okay, remember, that's all systemizing is. It's a set of rules, set of procedures that they follow. Okay, though many owners and managers don't think about it, customer service is something that should be systemized. Okay, it's not just telling them to smile and be happy. Okay, I do have a video called the 10 step uh, customer service system. You can check out if you want, I'll put it up here. Uh, and that's going to guide you through a 10 step uh, system. It's very easy for them to follow if they do the same thing every time. It's going to be consistent. Okay, number four, marketing systems. Okay, marketing is always a little bit. Uh, ambiguous on what you should do, but once you get something, you should lock it in and systemize it. From weekly, monthly, and annual promotions to using email and text marketing to social media to word of mouth, uh, marketing is possibly the most difficult area to systemize. All right, there are a million different ways to do it, and even when you choose a way, uh, you then have to execute it to perfection to make it work. Okay, when it comes right down to it, your staff is your number one marketing tool because as I've already mentioned, if you can get your customers to come back, it's gonna be more profitable for you. And the way to get them to come back is give them a great experience. And that starts with your staff. Okay, not to mention the natural word of mouth marketing those customers are gonna do for you. However, after the staff is well-trained at customer service, you need to take it to the next level. I have all sorts of videos on email marketing, text marketing, uh, promotions and more, you're welcome to go check those out. Okay. And even though there are other areas for systemizing, I'll stop there for the day so as not to overwhelm you. Okay. If you concentrate on just these four areas using a set of rules you create and a series of checklists, you would see substantial improvement in your, produ uh, your productivity and your profits that mirror the success of chain restaurants. And of course, as I mentioned before, the Restaurant Management Masterclass goes into greater depths on running and systemizing your business to perfection in all of those different areas. Okay, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today and listening to me ramble on. I hope this has helped you some. I'm going to see you next time when we hang out again. I'm out.